Hi, Collective. How are you? I hope everyone is doing okay. Collective. Um, let's get into your reading. Let me see which decks I am being guided to use for this reading. Wow, okay. I think I'm being guided towards another deck. So hold on, guys. Let me get it. Let me get it, get it, get it, get it. Let me grab it, grab it, grab it. We will get into your reading. So, guys, how is everything going with you guys? My beautiful collective. You all are awesome as always. Let's dig in. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in our pool of collective energy, right? It's a collective energy. That's exactly what it is all right spirit what is going on in our pool of energy who is this reading for whose messages are these okay we have something out already for somebody who thinks that they are in some kind of a twin flame mirroring type of situation where for some of you may not even know, this may be a twin flame situation. Now, when I say twin flame, some of you may be looking at the physical twin flame of people, human beings. But um, nowadays, I look at it from a very spiritual perspective where um, I see, you know, God, you know, showing, you know, you a mirror of yourself. Other people will mirror you to you, okay? It will be a mirroring of yourself of, you know, areas in your life where I feel like God is asking you to pay attention to. All right. It doesn't necessarily have to equate to another human being. It's just that area of ourself. All right. That will shine back to us through another human being. Okay. Whoever this person is, if it's a twin flame kind of mirroring kind of um, situation. All right. We will feel as if. That person is showing us a side of ourselves that we do not want to confront, okay? It might be a, a side of, of ourselves that has to do with guilt, with shame, with, you know, um, lack of patience. It could be anything, all right? But whatever the situation is, you feel like there is an uncomfortable situation here where you it looks like or it seems as if you're looking at yourself in the mirror, all right? Someone is making you take another look in the mirror, questioning something. A relationship, it could be yourself, it could be your sanity, it could be something about your self-worth, it could be your beliefs, it could be something, whatever drives you, but there's something about mirroring here. It says your twin flame is reflecting back the truth and it can create or cause you, you know, a feeling of vulnerability at this time, which can trigger one or both people, twins, to run from the relationship. All right, so technically, when we see um, ourselves in somebody else, it becomes very uncomfortable. It's like, like I said, looking in the mirror. And we don't like to do that because whoever this is, is reflecting a part of you that you don't want to confront. So what happens is once that mirror is there, right, you're reflecting yourself back to yourself. But that person is also seeing a reflection of themselves. So it's a twin kind of event going on right here, guys, okay? Um, where both people be like, oh my God, is that me? You know, when you first see yourself in a mirror and you didn't know that there's a mirror there, right? There will be a shock factor where you'll be like, oh my God, okay, is that me? So that can make you retreat so, or surrender, right? But there is an event here that is unplanned, okay? Um, it talks about unexpected meetings in places, all right? Or meeting someone where um, you did not even expect, all right? Um, okay. Um, it, it mentions soulmates here too. So maybe some of you may be meeting a soulmate or somebody that maybe this time around God is bringing whoever this is on your path to help mirror a part of you back to you. Okay. It might be the runner part of you also that is going to be mirrored back to you. Maybe there is a part of you that is always running away from something. All right. There is a part of you that would not look at a situation, would not confront a particular dark or shadow side about yourself. Okay. As I said that, it took me here. There is a wound that you have or somebody has whose energy I'm picking up here that you just do not want this reflected back to you. It could be an area that is very sensitive. It could have to do with someone's inner child wounds, 
um, deep wounds that they suffered maybe on their journey growing up as part of their childhood or feeling not enough, insecure, um, feeling rejected, have needing to prove their self-worth. All right. It talks about somebody who's feeling rejection, fears, wounds that are great. All right. So there is someone who, like I feel, is in someone's energy or that has mirrored yourself back to your will be doing that or is currently doing that to you right now. Um, but whatever this situation, it doesn't look like anybody saw it coming. It was unplanned. It will happen suddenly um, or it will happen suddenly. Uh, but there's something about yourself that you will need to confront pretty soon if you're not facing that now. All right. And it's an aspect of yourself that you have been hiding away from, running from, not trying to confront you know, hiding from, you know, uh, burying deep, not wanting it to be um, looked at. So it might also be, for some people, it might be insecurity about money for some. Like if you are in a relationship with somebody and there's insecurity about money, for example, you know, and God wants you to face that insecurity. They will take whoever that person is out of your life so that you won't have access to that money. So you can actually crash and be in that uncomfortable situation so that you can get used to it. All right. That is what is called iron sharpening iron, because that's how you now get go through the pain of being without money, without that person. So you can actually learn to make maybe useful, important decisions um, that has nothing to do with money. All right. That are more based on you know how you feel spiritually you know how connected you are to something or someone all right so there is a part of you here that um requires self-love <laughs> and creation that you you know self-love that you are creating or, or, or the universe is trying to birth for someone or trying to create all right i feel like it's the intention of someone all right to stop running for somebody, I feel like you know already, you know, what you're running away from. There's something about yourself that you don't want to confront. But, you know, I mean, we can only run away from ourselves for so long, right? Before our spirit will catch up with us. Because we have the free will until we don't have that free will anymore, right? And then it feels as if we are encaged by spirit when we're not. Um, there's something about awakening. So somebody might need to go through some deep, you know, things here, like I said crash down so that they can go through their own self-realization and awakening you know whatever this is for for whoever this fell when i shuffle there's a, a shadow side of someone like i said that is being reflected back reflected back to somebody all right there is a wound you see how these two look alike rejection wound shadow side this is the moon. This is the subconscious part of us. Dark night of the soul. This is the part of us that we don't like, you know, to, to look at. That we don't like to confront. We don't want to look at it. All right. We, we will run away from that. Even if we're not physically running away, we might be running away in our mind. And because of that, we're not confronting that part of ourselves, which has to do with our, um, you know, like self-love. People are also running away because your energy is mirroring itself back to you. If you're running away from, you know, you know, looking at some shadow aspect of yourself, people will run away from you too because you're not confronting this truth. Remember, love reflects back to us. It's like a mirror, right? And that's why in the Bible it says, um, love your neighbor as yourself. Love everybody as yourself. Love the next one. Because once you love other people, it's like a mirror. It comes back. That love that you shine is what, you know, people will give to you. So if you're not in a, a space of um, self-love where you don't feel like, you know, um, you don't know how to love yourself or, you know, you're not, you're trying to figure out how to better love yourself or create this experience in your intentions, right? You need to like, first of all, get to that place. Um, before this energy can also be mirrored back to you, whoever this is, okay? I hope this is helpful because this can apply to any area of one's life, really, okay? There's something about, you know, harvesting, all right? This is autumn, autumn, right? The autumn period, the um, fall, right? Um, you know, the fall period. 
So this is right before I think winter. So th there might be something happening where somebody needs to, or we'll be harvesting something, or maybe there's something that finally will come to a close during this time. All right, or maybe there is something that someone is planning or doing, or may meet. Now I'm hearing may meet someone around that you know time, or uh, maybe some unplanned event. Okay, might be some unplanned event or some decision that might be difficult or easy it doesn't matter it might be a decision that has to do with someone's self-esteem maybe a shadow side of yourself that you are now going to be made to confront all right a side of yourself that you have been ignoring for a while okay you will be made to remember and confront it so that you can reach your awakening all right Whatever this is for for you, all right? For everybody, it's going to be different. It might have to do with money. It might have to do with love. It might have to do with, you know, how you talk to people. Communication, right? It might have to do with, you know, the way you balance your family life. It might have to do with how you balance your, you know, work life, you know, uh, you know, in your life or family life or whatever. It could be anything, all right? But there is a, a part of yourself that you will need to confront as you move ahead on this journey towards discovering who you truly are, all right, towards your self-love, okay, all right, collective, I hope that was very helpful for someone, let's tap into this one right here, this energy right here, okay, let's see, spirit, what else, okay, I felt this one, he says, my career is bursting with opportunities to express my creative, um, creativity and passion, all right. So there's an opportunity here also for someone to translate whatever dark night of the soul, you know, that they may have experienced or may experience out of whatever this is. All right. To harvest something out of it, to create something out of it, because out of pain, is it not where the phoenix rises from the ashes? Isn't it from pain that somebody is, you know, able to go deep and, you know, pull from, you know, that side of themselves that they never knew existed? There's something also calling on your creativity or that will borderline or your creativity or you will have to make a decision relating to that that will spill from all of the you know um, emotions or experiences from whatever this is for you collective all right i hope that was helpful all right collective bye this is healing hands